Okay, so this is a video on problems from 5.3. I want you to list all possible rational zeros of this function here. So to do this type of problem, all we got to do is get the factors of the constant over the lead coefficient. Okay, so really we just need to identify the constant and the lead coefficient. So the constant, that's just my number, okay? And then the lead coefficient, that's the number in front of the highest degree term. That degree is, is a degree three. It's the biggest one, so that's the lead coefficient. So what does this equal? This is negative four over two. I want all the possible factors, all the different combinations that I can get here. So I need to think about this, okay? Factors can be positive or negative, right? So I'm going to start off my list with a plus or minus. In the numerator, what things can I multiply together to get 4, okay? To get a negative 4, I can multiply... 1 times 4 together, right? So 1, so factors for 4 include 1 and 4. What else can I multiply? I can multiply 2 times 2, right? So 2 and 2. So it looks like 1, 2, and 4 are all factors that are possible. Now for the denominator, what can I do to multiply to get 2? The only thing I can multiply is 2 times 1. So two and one are my only two that I have options for. So now I've got to put this together to where it makes sense. So I, com I combine, so one I can combine with one divided by one here. So it's a plus or minus, all the plus or minuses, one over one. The next one I could do is one over two, okay? One over two, all right? Next up, I could do two over one. That's another combination. I could write two over one, okay? And another combination would be two over two. And then my last thing I could do, I could do four over one and then four over two. So four over one and then four over two. Now I need to simplify, okay? One over one is just one. One over two, that's still one half. Two over one is just two, right? Two divided by two, though, is one. Four divided by one is four, and four divided by two is two. You guys see anything that repeats in there? Yeah, one and one repeat, and then two and two repeat. So get rid of the things that repeat. So all I need is just one copy of each. I don't need to write it over and over. So here is my answer that they're gonna be looking for. Now you can write this on your test, but what might happen in Hawks, they may say write out, list out all the factors, all the possible rational zeros. So you might have to say one comma negative one. 1 half comma negative 1 half. That's what this plus or minus is telling me to do in the front here, okay? And then 2 and negative 2 and 4 and negative 4. And that would be listing out all the possible rational zeros. Now, are those all the zeros? Is that every zero that it could be? Not necessarily, but it's all the possible uh, rational zeros that you would have for that one right there. Okay. We can do one more just to make sure that we got it going on. So let's try Let's try one more. Let's do one that's a little bit more complicated. G of X equals 10 X cubed minus 29 X squared plus 11 X um, plus 14. Okay. To get our list built, I need to look at the coefficient of the lead term and then the constant. So it's the coefficient, the lead coefficient, 
and then on the top I have the constant. So the constant is 14. On the bottom I have the lead coefficient 10. So things that I multiply to get 14. Well, I can multiply, let's see, 1 and 14. I can multiply 2 and 7 and 3, 4, 5. I think that's it. Okay, so, so in the numerator, what do I have? I've got 1, 2, 7, and 14. In the denominator, 10, I can do 10 and 1. And I can do 2 and 5, and that's it. So 1, 2, 5, and 10. So now I've got to do all the different combinations that I can here. So 1 goes with 1, 1 goes with 2, 1 goes with 3, 1 goes with 5. This is going to be a lot, by the way. So to write this out is going to take a little bit of work. So I'll do all these in purple. So 1 over 1. Um, 1 over 2, 1 over 5, 1 over 10, okay? The next one, maybe I can do it in orange. 2 over 1, 2 over 2, 2 over 5, and 2 over 10. Hope this colors help out. 2 over 1, 2 over 2, 2 over 5, and 2 over 10, okay? Next, let's, let's try green. So I'm going to do 7 and 1, 7 over 2, 7 over 5, and 7 over 10. So 7 over 1, 7 over 2, 7 over 5, and 7 over 10. And then last, you've got 14 over 1, 14 over 2, 14 over 5, and 14 over 10. So 14 over 1. 14 over 2, 14 over 5, and 14 over 10. My suggestion for you guys is to write them all out, but well, you've got them all, and then see if there's any duplicates. So let's start simplifying. So that first purple one, that makes a 1, and then I have a half, 1 fifth, and 1 tenth. That's good. Now this 2 over 1, that's just 2. 2 over 2 reduces to 1, but we've already got 1, so we don't have to worry about writing it again. Um, 2 fifths, we don't have that yet. Okay, And then 2 divided by 10. 2 divided by 10 is 1 fifth. We've already got 1 fifth, so we're good on that. The next one I see is 7. 7 over 2. 7 over 5. 7 over 10. Okay. 14. 14 over 2 is 7. I've already got 7, so I don't need to worry about that. 14 over 5, and then 14 over 10, that's 7 over 5, which I got that already, so I'm good. So this is my answer right here. All these. All right, so a lot of different possible solutions there. Looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But it's not just 12 because there's positive 12 and a negative 12. So there's actually 24 possible rational zeros for g of x. Wow. Amazing, right? Pretty cool. Wow, right? Whoa. All right.